a hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. The fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fall, the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands. The ever brilliant gold mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Ophnir. The all knowing. would again bless a tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring. and become the Elden Lord.
Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order.
Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring, hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Tarnished. I can see it, and I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. You know, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina.
I offer you an accord. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. the finger maidens they serve the two fingers offering guidance and aid to the tarnished but you I am afraid are maidenless I can play the role of maiden turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are, a word. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed, and upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Ah, a 
As I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee, by Torrent's former master. Tis a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Intrusion tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? What do you need? I don't want any trouble. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you and you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now, though the Elden Ring is shattered. I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the Tarnished, and mine. Perhaps you don't need to hear this, but see that no harm comes to my kin. We have a saying, we wanderers. Lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard, nothing. But if anyone dares harm us, Show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Just the way we are. Deeply unforgiving.
There's no mistake, is there? Death has left its mark once again. Ah, a tarnished, are you? I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. here has been touched by death, and worse yet, it is home to a mariner. If you value your life, then go no further. Turn back while you still can. Spoken echoes linger here, words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance.
It's you again. Always a pleasure. Care to purchase anything? The howl of a wolf. In the mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Ever the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor, and in need of a fitting end to his tale. is no true justice. No. This is where it ends for you.
Right. There you are. Hard to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. It's you again. Always a pleasure. <whistles> ah, then you met Blythe, did you? Wonderful. I'm glad I pointed you in his direction. He's boorish, blunt, and couldn't find his nose with both hands. But he's a good egg. <sighs> I think the two of you are sure to find the best in one another. Oh yes, I should say. If you venture north to Rhea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you, and he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. That's enough chit-chat for now. It's time we parted ways.
Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed, return to the lands between, wage war, and brandish the Elden Ring, grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord, Lord Godfrey. It's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? Unusual fella, aren't we? Did this aged merchant have something that caught your eye? Have a safe journey.
this tiny golden aura is the grace of the Earth Tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale is a shard bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. Me? I'm searching for my purpose, given to me by my mother inside the Earth Tree, long ago, for the reason that I yet live, burned and bodiless. There is something for which I must apologize. I've acted the Finger Maiden, yet can offer no guidance. I am no maiden. My purpose was long ago lost. Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you, if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hold, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Very well, let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. 